Hello everybody! Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Hannah. I am a recreational therapist in training. As you can see by the title of this video, we are going to be exploring the magic of music. All right, don't mind me reading this, okay? So, the goal of magic of music is to increase your ability and confidence to make choices and decisions. We are going to work on choosing what to do, when to do it, what works together, and recognizing what does not work together. By the end of these four months together, hopefully, we will be able to identify a few instruments that we really like and maybe a few we don't like. We're also going to demonstrate three or more beats that we've learned in this little activity day together. Okay, now don't mind me as I read off of something, okay? Right now, I'm just going to go through the description and a few other little bits about this program, okay? If you don't want to watch this, you can skip forward to the... The purpose of Magic of Music is to practice following instructions, to recognize re and repeat different patterns and sounds and tones and figure out things that you like, things that you do or don't, and to exercise your choices. So, this is our first week. Today, my special friend, Jin, is going to help us out. She is going to assign everyone a specific instrument. I completely forgot. What if we don't have instruments? Hmm. Well, it's very easy to make an instrument right at home. Okay. Okay. If you don't have any professional instruments, that's just fine. I don't really have any either. But you know what I do have? These guys here, you can find in your kitchen. They could be wooden or metal, anything of your choosing. If you only have one, that's okay. If you have two, even better. Next, Rummage around in the drawers and grab yourself one of these guys. A pot or a pan of any size. Place it on your lap and then grab your drumsticks and tap away. But you might have to be a little bit quiet, especially if you're living with other people. It can be a little bit loud. One of the other things that I like to play around with are salad tongs. Now, the salad tongs that I have don't make a lot of noise. I'll show you. I almost feel like a crab. Anything works, honestly. And this is also very, very fun to do with a friend or two. Or five. Okay, now continuing on with the percussion bits, because that's really all we can make at home, our mimics of percussion instruments. I grabbed a jar and I filled it with coffee. When I shake it, it almost makes a maraca. And I did this with two other items. This is macaroni, and this is some granola. Do you see how the bigger the jar is, and the more material you have inside of it, it changes the sound. Macaroni. Okay, ready to hear the difference?
See, I'm already having fun. Okay, now that we've explored all the different ways that you can make an instrument at home, or maybe you have something like a keyboard, or you have a drum, or a recorder, anything like that works, okay? This is one of the instruments I have. This is called a recorder. It's a woodwind. I use my lungs to blow air into this. And when I cover all these holes, it makes a different sound. Watch. Okay. And watch when I remove all my fingers. Isn't that cool? So, one of the instruments I have with me here is a mini guitar. It's actually called a ukulele. Now, I'm not very good at it, but I'm, I'm confident and I can play a few notes. While I wait for you all to get an instrument, okay? Now, if we're in person, I will hand them out to you. Or I'll let my friend, Jin, hand them out. But if we're doing this online, then you can pause this video now and go get some instruments. Kitchen utensils or not. Okay, have we gathered everything? Perfect. Right now, I want all of us to follow along. If you don't have a guitar to do a strumming pattern, that's okay. We can use the drum that you have. You could use a maraca if you have one or a recorder. It is up to you. Okay. That's kind of slow, isn't it? Why don't we speed it up a little bit? Okay, are you guys following along? So, that beat is very similar to Okay, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. I'll try it with another instrument. One, two, th oopsies. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Now I'll try it with my drums or my drumsticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. You go. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good stuff. Okay. One, can you count along with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Good. That's one of the beats I'll ask you to remember. You keep practicing that, okay? Say that over and over in your head until you get that memorized. Perfect. Now, I want everybody, if you have a drum, this is the drum that I have with me right now. 
and I'm going to play it very lightly and quietly because I don't want to disturb anyone around me, okay? I'm going to ask Jin if she's willing to start a beat for us, okay? Okay, I think we can do that beat. Ready? Okay, can I hear you do it? All right, let's do that a bit slower. Ready? Hey, all right, that kind of sounds like Pop goes the weasel. Da da. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you what kind of rhythms and beats you'd like to do. Okay? I will let you guys work together, find a partner if you want, or on your own, play around and think of a song that you really like. And maybe think of how the beat goes or how the hook of the song goes. Now that we've had some time to play around with our instruments and the sounds they make, depending on where you hit it, how aggressively you shake it around, we've had some fun. But it's time to get centered and get ready to do the next section of our activity, okay? All right. So, we're going to listen to a song, and we're going to try and play along. If you listen to a song, usually there's a beat. Not usually. Always. There is a beat. And it's often the percussion section or a really, really big guitar called a bass. Doom, 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 doom. That's usually the thing that helps drive the song forwards, right? Let's say if, hmm, what's, a, what's an example? We could do, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. All right, if you think about that, you can tap your foot along, right? You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. Okay, so if you're tapping your foot, or if you kind of want to move around a little bit, it's not really a dancing song. I know that. But you can always find a point to clap. Point. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. See? That's the beat. So, what you can do is if you have a percussion instrument like this, where it helps you keep on the beat, boom, 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 or ta, ta, ta. Even if you don't have an instrument, you can use your mouth, you could use any part of your body, as long as there's a sound and as long as you're not hurt stressing yourself out right okay so i'm going to play a song and i want you to try and play along you can use do the beat you could just drum along if you want sing along it's up to you okay this is mary had a little lamb because that's all i really remember was white as snow. Let's say, maybe I'll bring my, my drum out for this. So, 
if I'm singing along, I'll go, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. See, that was me keeping the beat. But if you want, next time we play around, in fact, I encourage you, try and spice it up a little bit. You could go, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. You see how I was still on the beat, but I threw in a few more taps? All right. Let me play that a few more times, and I want you to play with the beat once and then throw in a few more taps and see how you feel, okay? Ready? time. I have to take a deep breath. Okay. Okay. That was fun, right? Awesome. Alrighty. Okay, everybody. So, now that we've done a few exercises together, I am curious. Does anyone remember some of the little beats or rhythms that we have learned today? Mm hmm. Jen, you remember the counting one? Okay. How does it go? Yeah, it does. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, yeah. I love it. Fantastic. You're very good at remembering things. Oh my gosh. So, I'm going to ask one of you, Jin, would you like to play a song or would you like to start a beat for all of us to, to end our, our night with? You don't want to today? That's okay. Don't worry. Would you like to? No? That's fine. All right. I have one or two more maybe I could do. You don't want? All right. You guys don't? Okay. I understand. Okay. So we have some instruments that kind of lying around everywhere, right? I was wondering, could, hmm, Jin, would you like to collect the instruments? Okay, thank you very much. And we're going to place them just over here, okay? So I can tidy them and sanitize them and clean them up. Okay, perfect. Thank you everyone and thank you Jin for collecting all of the instruments while I was playing that. All right everybody, I hope you had a fun time. I sure did. Next week we're going to have a few songs that have really 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 fun bass lines. Thank you.